So in this video, I want to go through a problem that involves income tax. So there's a few concepts here that I'm going to need to talk through. So Harry has a gross wage of £32,000 per annum. So a couple of things there. First of all, gross wage. So your gross wage is the amount that you earn before tax is taken away. Okay, so that could be, uh, well, will be income tax, national insurance, and could include uh, a pension, for example. So that's how much, essentially, uh, when you look at a job advertisement, how much the pay is, and they show the gross wage. Per annum means per year. So Harry is earning £32,000 per year, but he won't see all of that money. Um, a chunk of it will go to something like income tax and national insurance. He has a personal tax allowance of £12,570. So everyone has a personal tax allowance uh, in England. And what that means is that uh, someone can earn up to £12,570 per year without having to pay income tax. OK, so if you earned uh, £12,580 a year, then the first £12,570 uh, won't get taxed, but the £10 that you earn over that will get taxed. Uh, and that will be, firstly, at a basic rate of 20%. So he pays basic income tax at 20%. This amount, this personal tax allowance, does change every year. Okay, but you can um, very easily Google that and find out what it is. Find Harry's net wage after income tax is deducted. So the net wage is how much he takes home. Now we're going to ignore national insurance in this problem um, and uh, pension or student loan or anything like that. We're just going to take away the income tax. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to subtract the personal allowance from the gross wage because we'll need to work out how much uh, of Harry's money can actually be taxed. So 32,000 take away 12,570. So zero, zero take away seven, we're gonna have to borrow. So 10 take away 7 is 3, 9 take away 5 is 4, 1 take away 2 I can't do, so I have to borrow. 11 take away 2 is 9, 2 take away 1 is 1. So that is Harry's taxable income. That is the amount that he earns that can be taxed by income tax. So now we need to work out how much he's actually going to pay in income tax by working out 20% of that. Okay. Now, there are a couple of different ways of doing it. You could work out 10%, work out another 10% and add them together. Or you could multiply this by 0.2. So I'm just going to do it that way. Okay. So 2 times 0, 2 times 3, 2 times 4, 2 times 9, it's 18, carry the 1, 2 1s, 2 plus the 1 is 3. Now, we're going to have to bring in one decimal point. So, uh, 3,886 pounds is how much Harry's going to pay in an income tax. <clears throat> Pays this in income tax. Okay. So, we then need to subtract that from the gross wage to work out the net wage. So 32,000, and I need to take away 3,886 pounds. So I need to borrow one. So 10 take away six is four, nine take away eight is one, nine take away eight is one, one take away three I can't do, so I'll have to borrow one. 11 take away three is eight, and bring down the two. And so, it's £28,114. That will be Harry's annual net wage once you've taken income tax away. Of course, um, 
Harry would also have to pay national insurance on top of that. So this, uh, the total net wage that he would take home would actually be less than that.